this time and all of you in here. So um, I'm not only quite a bit older than Corey, that makes me older than you, too. So No. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, most of you probably think that my relationship began with the Postman family when our kids started dating a couple of years ago. Actually, it began almost 18 years ago when I was expecting our fifth daughter and we attended a small church called, called North Dallas Fellowship. Okay, I know you're doing the math, so I'll just cut away for you. So, uh, after Emma was born, every Sunday, I would feel uh, a little tap on my shoulder. And uh, it was followed by this little sweet voice. And I would turn around with Emma in my arms. And uh, I would see this petite little lady. She would have her hair pulled back very neatly, and she had little glasses. And she would say this tender little voice. Yeah. <laughs> What's well, here? Take her. So um, that precious woman was none other than Joy McGregor, Corey's mom. Up together, we were a little apprehensive, nervous, and we're sitting on the bench at Dallas Road, you know, a soul, and um, from across the room we hear, Emma, and I said, oh, somebody knows you here, Emma. She goes, Mom, I don't know anybody here, and I have no idea who this lady is. And I said, Oh, sure you tell me who it is. And then we hear, Linda, and I said, Oh no, I'm in trouble now. She goes, You and me, <laughs> and I couldn't see who it was. And so, as this person was approaching, we saw that it was Corey. And she, with roster in hand, she saw that we were there, and she introduced herself as the volleyball coach. So, um, <clears throat> we uh, just chatted and laughed and talked about how the years had passed, and how Emma was now in eighth grade, and I said, yeah, we're considering going to Spain. So um, that began a relationship with Corey as volleyball coach to my daughter. And then it progressed to the mother of the boyfriend of my daughter. And, uh, but she was more than that. She was, she was a new friend. And if there's anything that I learned about Corey, besides those beautiful golden eyes uh, and the stubbornness, <laughs> I had that, really. It's that she loves her family, what everybody has said here. And uh, we've shared many a laugh on the differences of raising boys versus girls, prom dresses versus baseball uniforms, <laughs> high heels versus cleats, <coughs> stitches, bruises, black eyes, and dislocated bones versus pedicures, jewelry, manicures, colored hair, and several sprained volleyball ankles. We've cried together. 
together at the loss of life. We pray and grieve over family members who have lost their way. But we've also rejoiced in reminding each other that God still loves us and he has it all figured out when we do not. 